Howdy folks, it's Troy with V-Twins to V-8s. Hey, I'm back here in the garage again. I got a little project I was going to do a video on. What I'm making here is you can see this full face helmet. It's kind of an old fashioned, old school helmet. It's made of polycarbonate. I have um, prepped the helmet and painted it base coat white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this an evil Knievel uh, replica helmet. So, um... What we're gonna have here is I painted this base coat white, I put some intercoat clear on it, I'm gonna tape out my stripes and um, you know the stars and stripes like you'd see in an Evil Knievel helmet. I'm gonna gold leaf Evil Knievel in the uh, front of the helmet here. So I just figured I'd do a little video segment and it would give you an idea of uh, some of these techniques and how things are done. So what I've got is I've got kind of a picture of what I want my helmet to look like. I'm gonna use this Evil Knievel logo on the front. I'm just gonna shrink it down. This is my star and stripe design, but I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the one that goes up and over the top. So what I've done is I've kind of figured out my layout. I know I want my stripes to be two inches wide. I want a quarter inch red stripe on either side and my stars are going to be inch and a half. So what I've done is I went to a buddy of mine that owns a Stein shop and I had him cut me some inch and a half stars on this uh, frisket masking tape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and I'm going to lay out my, I'm, well first I'm going to take a gray scuff pad and I'm going to scuff pad that whole um, helmet and then I'm going to lay out these stripes. So what I've got is I've got, so then I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll set you up and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll lay out this helmet design. All right, folks, so I'm back and this is what I've done. I know that I needed to have my inch and a half for my stars to lay in, then my quarter inch stripes. So what I did was I took some three quarter inch masking tape and I laid two passes where I wanted it to be because three quarters and three quarters is an inch and a half. So that'll give me my inch and a half with my stars and my blue go. Now you'll notice that it's not perfect. It doesn't really have to be perfect. I got a nice arc here. This represents this, this blue pinstripe or blue uh, striping tape here represents what's going to be my red stripe. This here in the center that I'm going to take out right now, this is going to be where my blue goes and my stars go. So I'm going to peel this out of here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay another quarter inch, or it doesn't even have to be, I'm going to lay another piece of fine line right here in the middle, right here off of this edge on both sides. That's going to be where it's completely taped off. All my work is going to be inside of here. So once I peel this off, I'm going to um, place my stars on here. Then I'll put another quarter, I'll put another piece of fine line on the other side of this. Then I'll mask off the rest of the helmet, and what we'll have is we'll be ready to put some blue down. So I'll put the blue down, and then after that we'll uh, we'll take a look at it, and I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so I'm back. So now this is my inch and a half area that's going to be blue. This stripe right here, the inner one, represents what's going to be my red stripe. So I got. I got my white stars that are going to go on next. So I'm going to take my stars and I'm going to place them on here where I want them to be as I go along. And uh, then this area here is going to be blue. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the remainder of this helmet that's on the inside of here and on this area in here in the front. I'm going to tape that all off with some masking paper because I don't want any paint on that. So I'm going to do that. Then I'll come back. We'll lay the stars on and then uh, then we can put some blue on. Okay, so we're back here. I've taped off everything that um, that's going to remain white. All right, so what I've got here is I've just got my path that's going to be blue. This stripe on the inside, remember, is going to be red. And then I'm going to place my stars on here. I'm just going to work on some spacing. So what I'll measure from here to here and divide it out and I'll place my stars so that it makes sense and it's got some decent spacing. Um, what I did want to show you up close is if you look really close, I've got two layers of fine line here. I ran my one that's going to be the red stripe. Then I laid out my one that's going to be the edge on the other side of that red stripe. So I got this where it's butted together, but if you look in some spots, 
you can see where the white's kind of peeking through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small amount of fine line and just lay right over the top of that. It's kind of like a little insurance policy so I don't get any um, of this blue where I don't want it to be. So I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to lay the stars out and then uh, I'll show you what I got and then we'll put some blue on it. Okay, here we go. Uh, I laid out all my stars on both sides. I'm all taped up. I my areas are going to be white taped. I'm going to lay some blue on here and we'll let it flash. Probably two, three coats of blue will give me some coverage. Then we'll, uh, we'll reverse the masking and work on uh, putting the red down. And after that, that's pretty much going to be it. All right. So we've uh, <clears throat> laid down our blue that we're going to uh, have for our blue stripe. And the only thing that's left here is our stars. So I'm going to take and I'm going to, I'm going to lift these stars. And then I'm going to lay down some intercoat clear, which will seal all this down. And um, we won't have to worry about any, any problems afterwards. Looks like I had a little bit of crap in here. We'll have to take a good look at that. And um, then after that, that'll dry. Uh, then we'll have to um, do some reverse masking. We'll take this stripe here out where the red's going to be. We'll lay down another stripe on the inside to save all of our stars and our blue. Take this stripe out, and then this line in here that you can see right on this edge, that's going to be our, our red stripe. So that'll be next. Okay, so here we go. I got my, uh, I peeled off all my star masks, and you can see what we got going on here. Notice how crisp all the lines are and everything. That's why I have the stars cut on a machine. So I'm going to lay a little intercoat clear on here, and then after that dries, we'll uh, pull off some tape and we'll do a reverse mask. Okay, folks, so I'm back. Now, what I've done is I took my stars off and I laid down my intercoat clear. Now, I've come back, and the stripe that I had taped off here for my red, I removed that. I laid down a stripe on either side. So, I just wanted to show you this stage of it here. So, now, this is actually right along here is an eighth inch um, piece of masking tape on both sides. So I'm going to lay a piece of uh, frisket paper or something in here more than likely um, to cover this area. I'm going to double check all my areas along these edges because we've already laid some paint on it and sometimes when the thinners and stuff get on this tape it gets a little funky and sometimes you lift up a little edge and you don't want that to happen because of a little bit of the red that we're going to apply blows underneath that edge it will just be a hassle. It'll be something you have to deal with. So I'm going to probably retape these edges, put that frisket right down in here. I'm going to get these uh, red stripes. I'm going to blow them on probably with the airbrush because it's a nice small area. I can keep it small and light. And then after that, we'll peel this, th this whole thing off and we'll have ourselves an Evil Knievel helmet. So I'll be back. Okay, folks, so I'm back. Now what you see I've done is I freshened up my masking paper around these edges. And I've taken and laid down my frisket paper all the way through here. I took an X-Acto knife and I cut it right on the edge. So now these two white lines that you see right here, the, this is going to be my pattern for my, um, my red stripes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red paint, I'm going to put it in my uh, airbrush, and I'm going to dust some red on both of these, probably three to four, uh, two to three coats, just enough so I know that I'm covered. And then we can peel this back and we'll get a good look and see what it looks like. All right, folks, so I'm back. And uh, what I've done is I've peeled off my paper. So as you can see, I've got my blue, my stars, my stripes, and the white that we started out with. And you get a good look at it. Looks pretty good. Um, I did have a little goober over here, a little speck of something. So I just dusted in a little base coat with the, with the airbrush. But um, you can really get a good look at what this is going to look like. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to wash it with some pre-cleaner, tack it off, and I'm going to put a little bit of intercoat clear on it because tomorrow I'm going to make a frisket. I'm going to cut a frisket mask here and put uh, Evil Knievel's name on here. It'll say Evil like it did on his original helmets. And I'm going to do that in gold leaf, and I'll show you how I do that as well. And then once that's done... Then we'll um, do some hand striping around the gold leaf uh, with some black and um, maybe some other little striping on here and then it'll be clear coat and it'll be done. Howdy. 
folks, it's Troy with V-Twins, the V-8s. Hey, I'm back with my um, Evil Knievel helmet project. <clears throat> I've got, um, it's all got Intico Clear on it. i got my stars and stripes on here. And now I'm going to do my gold leaf <clears throat> Evil Knievel um, name on the front of it. So what I've done was I traced out this, uh, this Evil Knievel name here on my, uh, on a piece of frisket and put it, on the front of the helmet. So what I did was I I took uh, I, I traced out a name off of uh, off of the internet, and then I transferred it onto this frisket paper with Sorrel paper. That's what this red lettering you're seeing here. Sorrel paper is kind of a um, it's like carbon paper. So what I did was I, I traced out my piece of paper. I put uh, I put my Sorrel paper over my frisket here, and then my pattern traced it out so then it was written on there like you see down here then I took and I cut this all out oh I stuck it to the helmet first then I cut it out with an exacto knife blade so now I have you know like this open mask where I mean normally I would spray paint on it or whatever but now we're gonna do a gold leaf so I've got this all on here and ready this is gold leaf size I'm gonna take my gold leaf size and I'm gonna pallet it on a uh, on a magazine here to get it to the right consistency and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to paint this whole area with that gold leaf size nice and even and then we're going to let that dry it's got to be dry um, almost it's almost to the touch it's like when you can rub your finger across it and it's still just a little bit sticky then we can apply our gold leaf so I am once I have that gold leaf size dry then I can apply my actual gold leaf and then I'll come back to you when I do that okay folks so what I've done is I've taken my gold size cleaned out my brush I palleted out my gold size on this magazine get it to a nice smooth consistency just as though you were going to paint something and I've applied all the gold size inside of my little mask here so you can see where it's all nice and even now I'm just gonna wait it out I've also taped off a little area here on this little test panel that I can touch and then that way there it'll let me know when the size has dried enough so that I can think about applying some gold leaf so we're gonna let this sit and uh, once it's ready, I'll turn you back on and we'll apply some gold size. In the meantime, I'm going to clean my brush out with some mineral spirits and put my size away. Okay, I'm back here, folks. All right, my size is ready to accept the gold leaf. I peeled back my mask. I've taken off all the little um, friskets that are left. And um, now I've got my uh, gold leaf out. So this is the gold leaf here and now it's really a basic concept I'm just going to take the gold leaf and pretty much just set it onto my surface very very lightly I've got some cotton balls here and that's just going to be what touches it to stay on there so you just kind of pat it on there really nice and easy You can kind of, you probably can't see it in the um, in the camera right now, but you can almost see as it starts to lift it off of the off of the paper. Okay, so it looks to me like I've got all my gold leaf stuck on here. I notice I go back over, and any place that it looks like 
I don't have enough gold on there, I can just take my little thing and find a spot on it that has some gold, and I can set it over that spot and just kind of rub it on there nicely. Now what you'll see is it looks it looks kind of crappy right now, um, but that's just the way it is. So now it's stuck to the size that it left on there, but all around these edges, that's all going to come off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit, but we'll do that um, after this sets up a bit. All right, folks, so I'm back. Now I've taken my, my little uh, gold leafing brush, and I've gone over, and I've brushed all of the excess gold leaf off of here. And what you see now is there's my gold leaf uh, name right on there, Evil. So now I'm going to let this sit, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the edge of these letters with some black. And um, once that's done, then we'll be ready to basically clear coat this whole helmet, and it'll be pretty well complete. So um, I'm going to let this harden up and set up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, folks, I'm back. I um, got my one-shot black striping enamel, my little quill brushes, and I had at this Evil Knievel um, gold leaf that I did. Now, so I edged this all out with this black one-shot enamel, and you'll notice my light source is coming from this upper left-hand corner, like 10, 11 o'clock on the clock, if you will. So you notice that all my letters, you know, that are on this downside of it, on the 4 o'clock level, you know, so the sun's kind of shining in this direction. Um, so my lines are thin on this side, and then they're thick on this lower side. And it gives, it, it gives the, um, the writing a three-dimensional look. So I got that there. There was a saying that Evil always put on his helmets. It said, color me lucky. I put that over here on the side. This is all still wet, so I don't want to really touch it too much. I got it over here. So um, there we go. So there's my entire helmet. What's going to happen is tomorrow or the next day when I get a little bit of time, I'm going to uh, scuff this down and I'll put a coat of uh, clear over this whole thing and then it'll be done. And we'll have a complete helmet. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you have any questions, always tune in to vtwins to vh.com. You can always ask me any questions, uh, post on my blog, whatever. I'll try and do whatever I can to help you.